It is artificial intelligence, so it learns from the yeah. actual people, and it actually doesn't. It supposedly makes it better, right? Could. Well, it could make it better. Theoretically, make it. Do you it have better. artists because you represent artists and, yes. and actors? Do you have artists who are, and clients who are involved in this? Yeah, I represent music producers, some of which who think this is absolutely outrageous and don't want anything to do Has with it. Has it affected them? Not yet, but I think that there are people who are forward-looking, and then there's people who are operating under archaic methods that are scared of having their jobs and potential incomes affected by what artificial intelligence could mean for the future of music production and creation. I personally look at this as an opportunity for artists to create new revenue streams and a new rights category that doesn't exist yet. How do you create a new revenue stream if it's something else doing? Because right now, with AI-generated music, there's somebody else that's inputting the words and lyrics into a machine, and then an actual song comes out. If that song is not under the rights that a label has rights to, then this is a new rights category that the artist okay. could then claim, and that could generate money. I mean, this Weekend and Drake song probably accumulated 50 million-plus records in a 48-hour time span before the record labels were able to take it down off all the DSPs. If that was left to earn money, and the artists had rights to the to that recording, then they would have effectively made a lot of money that they didn't. Right.